Hello everybody, I will be interviewing Salem and Trinity today. So, Trinity, what awards did you recently win? So, both me and Salem won a $17,500 scholarship to the school, the American Academy of Art in Chicago, Illinois, and uh, it was a pretty hard competition. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds great. Uh, what did you create to win the award? We traveled up to the Academy in Chicago. Right. We went up to the Academy in Chicago and we sat down for two three hour sessions to create life drawings. We did both a still life and a figure drawing. And once we were complete with those, we had those graded and we were given our um, scholarships. Is there anything you would like to uh, brag about? Um. Well, there was pizza, and that was basically the best thing about it. But other than that, I think both me and Salem did very well out of the, like, what, 25 people that were there? I think it was like 30. 30? Yeah. Well, however many people were there, that we did pretty good. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. Now here's weather with Justin. Like, it's okay. Hello there. Uh, <laughs> uh, today is Tuesday. We have a, a today, ah, weather. <laughs> The temperature outside is 34 degrees. Real field is 24 degrees. And the wind speed is coming from the north northeast at 12 miles per hour. It's kind of cloudy outside. Not a three day forecast. Yeah, you meant to do that. And uh, anyway, for Tuesday, I have a high of 36. It's a bit sleeting outside, a low of 26. Wow, we're all going intense today, aren't we? And Wednesday, it's a high of 34, a bit of cloudy, low of 24. And for Thursday, we have a high of 31. Uh, bit snowy outside and 20, 20 degrees. Oh, now it's 11. Now uh, back to the main desk with my friend Joey. Good morning. Today is February 4th, 2020. I'm Joey, and this is a view from the Falcon's Nest. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Lunch for today is soft shell taco or chicken fajita, refried beans, Spanish rice, golden corn, diced pears, and carnival cookie. Attention freshmen, counselors will begin meeting this week to schedule next year's courses. Meetings in the media center during activity periods and SSR. Freshmen with the last names A through G will meet today. H through O will meet on Friday, February 7th, and P through Z will meet on Tuesday, the 11th. Student Council will meet this Friday during activity period in room 150. All members need to attend. Sophomores and juniors who are interested in attending a vocational program next year need to come to a meeting in the auditorium on Wednesday, February 5th during activity period. The guidance department also needs workers for the freshman transition day on Thursday, February 6, 2020. On transition day, students will guide groups of eighth graders around the school. The script of information will be pre-made the tours will be during fourth hour. You will be able to eat lunch late that day. This is a great opportunity for students who are outgoing and willing ambassadors of Jogland High School. You will earn community service hours for this, and you should see Mrs. Rippey to sign up. Now to sports with Wyatt. Thank you, Joey. The softball call-out meeting has been changed to Monday, February 10th, during active period meet in the Ox Gym. The boys' freshman team won at Goshen last night, 26-23. to Nathan Taylor scored eight. Jackson Perry added six, and Major Plunkett added key free throws to go with a strong defensive effort. Now back to the main desk. Open house for the aviation program in Plymouth on February 18, 2020 from 5 to 8 p.m. There will be two time slots to choose from for the program. You may come at 5.30 or 7 p.m. for the presentations. There will also be an airport facilities tour during the open house. The program is at the Plymouth Airport. See the guidance department for more information. The carnation sales will continue today during all lunches. They are one flower for $2 and three flowers for $5. Flowers may also be sent to other schools in the corporation. Happy birthday to Megan Cobalt, Noah Walden, and Gavin Bang Banghart. <laughs> and those are your announcements for today. I'm Joey, and that was a view from the Falcon's Nest. Have a great day.